and make sure everything sounds good. So just in case if uh, we get cut off on the live stream, I have it recorded and I'll have it re-uploaded. All right. So, if you're an NFL fan, if you love pro football in the National Football League, how did your team do today? Well, we won 25 to 20. It was a tough game. It was definitely a tough game, but I guess a win's a win. But let's get right to the main game. How you doing, Donna? Thank you for joining me tonight. Now we are going to play Resident Evil Contaminant. This is episode four. This is the last episode. It was made by Ada Watkins. So here we go. <laughs> this is the final chapter. This time there is voice acting. This is where we last left off on episode 3. Resident Evil Containment. Yeah, my heart was pounding. Even though it was week 1. That was too close. That was quick thinking. Using those explosives back there. Yeah, now those things can't chase us anymore. Anyway, we're finally at the end of the mine shaft. There's an elevator just ahead. It'll take us up to the Spencer Mansion. Come on, let's get going. End of the mine shaft. I was just making sure that you guys could hear it. So that's good. That's good. Awesome. Hmm, I wonder where this leads to. I think I got a feeling where this elevator leads to. All right, what? let's make our way to the main entrance hall. It's not far from here. Follow me. Wow, after all those years, the mystery has been solved. There's nothing there yet. This is some volume eight demos. Awesome. What's up, Mario? How you doing tonight, man? Nintendo Switch. That sounds good. sure looks different lit up. Yeah, it's quite the extraordinary piece of architecture, isn't it? Yeah. So, now that we're at the main hall, what's our next move? We have two options, but neither one will be safe. We can take the front door right out of here and make our way through the Arclay Forest. Or we can make our way back to the helipad using the underground passage below these stairs and try to signal for help. Whichever oh, one you nice. choose, there will be no turning back. We're low on ammo and supplies, so either way is going to be dangerous. Follow my lead. We'll escape this nightmare. One way or the other. I promise. Cool. Learn. I learned that everything in inhaler is heard in German. Okay, so that's awesome. Um, all right, so I'm gonna choose the front because I feel like these doors over here. That's heading towards the helicopter. It's pretty cool that they added the doors over here, but we're not taking that at all. I don't 
I'll tell you why. If we go to the helipad and try to signal for help, that's a bad sign that we could be done. So our best bet is to go through these doors. We're gonna go right to the front door because it's not gonna work. Because I got this gut feeling that they're gonna be there. Look at the beautiful freaking mansion. What a marvelous job Aiden Watkins did. Give credit to Aiden Watkins, man. He did a marvelous job, man. Watch out for dogs. There might be more than dogs. What the? There's a truck over there. We can use it to escape. Damn it. No keys. I don't suppose you know how to hotwire a truck. That's not. Of course I don't. It doesn't look like there are any supplies in it either. Let's follow the road and see where it leads. This is awesome. Aha! Shh! There's someone up ahead. We can't be sure if they're hostile. Quick, this way. I recognize that getup. It's the Umbrella Security Service uniform. Yep. That explains the truck back there, which means there are more of them around here. If they're Umbrella, why are we hiding? They're here to help us. They're not here to help. Their job is containment. Correct. That involves neutralizing any survivors. The USS operative I was sent here with was ordered to kill me. But he spared my life. We can't be sure that these guys will do the same. No, they're not. Yeah. So what are we going to do? We're out of ammo. And with more of them around, a shootout wouldn't be the smartest of ideas. Our only other option is to sneak past. What, are you crazy? It'll be all right. Just watch for a pattern in their movement and sneak past when they're not looking. I'll go first. You've got this, trust me. Just follow my lead. Sounds like a plan. make sure he does not get me at all or spots me because if he spots me then it's game over So Camping bad. is not my was it? thing. Oh, I know. I guess so. Hey, I like going camping. Wait a minute. Lancaster, PA. Why don't we sneak past by gotcha. using those boxes? Really? We'd be stupid enough to fall for that. Come on, let's keep moving. for now just in case yeah, I was fooling around with the game 
just in case anything happened. Oh. This is like Metal Gear Solid. In this area. This is just out of Metal Gear Solid. That was a lucky one. That's a pretty good idea. And you're dead. Camping is more of a guy's thing, not for a woman like me. I got killed. Good thing I saved it, didn't I? Just in case. Oh well. Taking a shower? Okay. This is just like Metal Gear Solid, like this stage area. Pretty creative. I want to go too close. Gear Solid. That's pretty good. But this time, if they catch you, game over. to make it similar to Metal Gear Solid on this uh, stage. I'll be 40 in less a week. I'm getting there myself to be 40. Looks like we're in the clear. Come on, let's keep moving. All right, let's save. Yeah, so we are still young. Yeah. 
yeah, we're not teenagers anymore. It's a, a train. train. What is it doing here? <laughs> I hear you. Hey, check it out. Oh, uh, intercepted touchdown cowboys. There's a river. And a boathouse. Oh, boy. That's our way out of here. Cowboys are stomping on New York. But it's heavily guarded. We need to cause a distraction. Then we can lure those guards away. I think I have an idea. We can use the train. That's a great idea. I I'll like head that. into the train and see what I can do. Are you crazy? There's no way I'm letting you go alone. Who knows what's inside that We're thing? playing against Minnesota on Thursday. I can the, handle uh, myself just fine. The Vikings fine. on Thursday night. Besides, you'll only get in my way. Really? Yeah. Real funny. Fine. Just be careful in there. Yeah, Thursday night, we're playing against the Vikings. By the time I'm recording this, this is a Sunday night, um, September 10th, 2023. Yep. Oh, this is pretty cool. Come on. I'm waiting. That was a zombie. Later. from the other side. If they do a D make of Resident Evil Zero, this could work.
photo of Mia Watkins. That's a nice name. Pumpkin spice is coming out. Yum. From Dunkin' Donuts? Because my wife has been getting that for a couple days now. Cute baby, yeah. A very good cute baby. I think that's Ada Watkins' daughter, I think. By the way, congratulations to him for being a father. Cute baby, too. Mia sounds like a very, very beautiful name. Yes, they are. Who else is sound uh, pumpkin spice? Oh, they know. The guards know. Here they come. That went better than I expected. Yeah, now yeah. let's go. I'm actually surprised it worked. Oh, pumpkin spice. The boathouse is just up ahead. Tuesday. Okay. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Let's save it just in case. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. All I got is a knife still. No other weapons but a knife. Oh, I hear you. Oh. I'm impressed, Rookie. I'm impressed, Rookie. I didn't think you'd make it this far. That voice. Honk? You're alive? The death cannot die. The death cannot die. Now it's time to finish my mission. It's nothing oh, personal. Great. It's nothing personal, yeah. The mission it is objective personal. takes priority over everything else. Exterminate all BOWs and any survivors. Thanks to you, I'm about to complete my mission. Wait, you mean... The researcher at the lab... And the other one back at the mansion! Uh, you bastard! It was I should have known better than to trust you! How could you? It's time to end this. Let's make this interesting. Knives only. Knives only? Time to find out if that training paid off, Rookie. Tracy, take cover over there. If anything happens, run and don't look back. But... Just go. I will do my best on knives only. All right. That's why I saved Let's it, do just this. in case if something like this would happen. Bring it on. Alright, I'm 
still under five. Come on. Alright, come on, come on. Yes! Got him! I guess the deaf really can die. Ugh. All right, now get the hell out of here. It's finally over. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go. Before he gets back up. Because to be quite honest, he's just out. Oh, nice. Very good. Animation, Mr. Watkins. Very good. He has one standard. See what happens. I don't know if I'm gonna get a good ending or a bad ending. We'll see what happens. We finally managed to escape the nightmare at the Arclay facility, but the cost was high. Many people died that night. Eventually, we came across an old diner and garage. We took one of the cars and made our way out of Raccoon City as fast as we could. A few days later, there were news reports about an accidental explosion at the old Spencer Mansion on the Arclay Mountains. But we know the truth. Umbrella were covering their tracks, destroying any evidence of what happened at that place. Not long after that, Raccoon City fell into chaos, and the nightmare began anew. We're currently in hiding, keeping our heads down and staying off the grid. This is the only way I can keep her safe from Umbrella. But how long can we keep this up for? Only time will tell. All right. We got the good ending. I'm not sure what the other ending would have been if we went to the heliport. It probably would have been a bad ending. We did it. And I will say this to Ada Watkins. On a different video, I am going to be playing what would have been on the other side. Thank you for playing. You're welcome, Aiden. You're welcome. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, we did it. This was a very good mod. And um, I don't know if the other side would have been a bad ending. And uh, we'll probably play the other way another time. All right. We'll play it another time because I had a sneaky, suspicious feeling that uh, it would have been a bad ending if we went through all over to the mansion and getting those doors open, and then, and then we go to the heliport, and then game over. We would have the sad ending. I just felt like going to the front door was just like the only way to do it. And by the way, in a spoiler alert, Hunk is not dead. He was just unconscious. That's just my honest opinion. And it's true as well, because Hunk appears in the Resident Evil 2 
remake and the original for the uh, the bonus games. And same thing with a few other games as well. Honk is a hidden character from Umbrella, so... I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. But yeah, overall, this was a very good mod. Umbrella side. And I was glad I got the good ending. I was glad I did. And I had a feeling it was going to be at the front door. So that about wraps it up for the night. And I'm going to go to bed. Very good mod, Aiden Watkins. You did it, man. But I'm going to play it over and over and over again one day. Um, probably later this year. So. All right, folks. That about wraps it up. I hope everybody enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and favorite. I'm CJ Hawkins, and I'm out of here. See you later. Peace.